Hi class, this is just a really quick recording to tell you that you're doing a great job and most of you have more than 20 points already, which is fantastic. If you don't, try not to stress because I don't usually deduct points from your total. The goal is to get 90 to 100 points by the end of the semester and I give you more than 100 points worth of opportunities to do that. So just do your best to continue to participate in the class as often as possible to keep collaborating like you are on the discussion board and to keep up with the quizzes and the readings. I'm really impressed with what a good job you've done on Brown Girl Dreaming considering that I wasn't completely clear that you needed the book for, for the class, although it was at the bookstore and I apologize for forgetting to put it on the syllabus. I hope you love Brown Girl Dreaming. People have loved it in the past and part of what's really great about it is that it's a story of a young girl who grows up really close to here in Greenville in the upstate of South Carolina but it also covers so much important African-American history in the second half of the 20th century. So that's why we're going on to look at Malcolm X and view the Malcolm X movie, watch listen to the bullet or the ballot speech. But she also mentions a contemporary of Malcolm X who I'm a big fan of and that's Angela Davis. This is a copy of her autobiography. She's currently really well known for uh, prison emancipation because she's trying to work on prison reform as an activist even though she's a professor and a PhD. She has her own history of struggle in terms of being an activist and being hunted down by the US government. And I even have a picture of Angela Davis in my office. I'll try to turn this around so you can see it. Oh, you can see how messy my office is. I'm going to have to take it from the wall. It's a very cool picture. <clears throat> it's from Time Magazine from, I think, 1972. Sorry, 1970. So, sorry about the glare. It says, The Making of a Fugitive and it's about the story of Angela Davis wanted by the FBI. This is a very iconic picture of her. So she was cleared of all charges, of course. So really good job, like I said, keeping up with a lot of pretty intense reading. I hope that you're enjoying it, and if you have any questions, just let me know. Have a great week.